alone in the RV, with flashlight in hand, Odell ponders the night. So far, the trees have turned him back, stopped him from progressing. The smartphone laying in front of him still displays that GPS point to the southwest, the center, people. Why does his mind salivate to that? A thought worth pushing away for now. He could take off into the night now. The tent unfortunately too bulky, but with an emergency blanket, a few supplies, he could go on foot. But perhaps the decision's too hasty. This vehicle can still take him further. Certain there is a river. He will find it. Colder. Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead and to our short survival series. We are here with Odell Downing, whose odyssey continues today, an odyssey leading him to the southwest. And, uh, well, he's looking a little bit different. We're wearing this big old cloak at the moment, just for warmth, and we've taken off the helmet because uh, we really do need to be able to see tonight. It's going to be quite important. I was tempted to try and just rest up here and then try and make it on foot as far as we can, but I'm thinking we should at the very least explore where this road leads down here before we make any, you know, split decisions. It would have been great if one of these roads, one of these pathways connected up towards the river, if we could find a way to cross it, but generally that is going to be with bridges. So we're going to follow this road here to the south to see where it will lead us. We are going to have to keep our flashlight on as we are driving because, um, well, <laughs> we don't have any headlights on this thing anymore. So we are going to continue to plow this thing forwards. I'm just going to quickly check the electronics. The fridge is on currently. We probably don't need to have it on with how cold things are. So yeah, uh, we do have some R lights as well. Good to know, but that'll be for in the back of the vehicle. For now, we are going to plow on ahead, making our way down to this uh, southern road to see where that's going to take us. And obviously we cannot see that far ahead of us. So keeping a measured speed is going to be a good idea. And look at that level three in driving. We can see a little bit further in the darkness, a road going to the east, one going to the south. We're going to take the southern road. As soon as it looks like it's getting towards the actual town, we'll start to change our mind. Uh, traveling at speed as well will make our hands that much more colder. Um, oh, everything is that much colder. Our mouth is very cold right now. So if we could do a quick stop at a house to maybe pick up a scarf or something like that, that would be fantastic. We're going to spin over towards the left. And it looks like we do have something here immediately, a pump station. Okay, well, the amount of dead here might be small. We could potentially deal with this and pick up some tools at the same time. So we're going to stop our vehicle. We're going to turn off our light for the moment here. You know what? Before this thing gets too close, I'm just going to go and uh, redesignate some of our items here with letters. All right, there we go. We've got a few different letters set for them now. We're going to turn on our flashlight. Let's bring the zombie isn't able to see us right away, but it will see us eventually. Um, our hands are a little bit on the uh, slow side, so we might not be as good at hitting this thing. You know what? We might not have to even hit it. Let's just leave the light off for now and see if we can just... Mm, it's locked. Unfortunate. Go around the rest of the place here. We've got a few crates. We can clamber on top as well. Good to just kind of see what's going on. Uh, we can probably just smash those crates and we might, oh, no, we can get inside here. Light on. Let's see what we got. What kind? Just aspirins. Okay. Okay. I guess we can never have enough. And speaking of aspirin, we might as well take some now just while we are in a little bit of pain. Entry must be around the back here. Let's see a little bit inside. Or it's just that one wow just one entry point that's interesting kind of a little strange okay well i guess we will take care of you because then we can just um yeah deal with other stuff we can also go into manholes here as well which is uh hmm, something worth thinking about maybe okay we've been grabbed right okay we did manage to hit it but it also hit us not great 
Let's see if we can just go ahead and back up here, break out of that grab. Okay, a good hit. Nice. It's not stunned, so we'll just move back again. Okay, unfortunately grabbed. There we go, that's a little bit better. Um, ooh, it ripped our cloak there. We are losing a little bit of blood. We are not as fast at striking at the moment while we're this cold. We're going to drop that cudgel down to the ground just to see if we can stop that bleeding on our right leg. And I think we'll probably just try and put an adhesive bandage on that just so it'll slowly heal over time. We could do the same thing for the right arm. Yeah, I don't know how... We're going to experiment. We're going to leave the right arm and we'll see if it does actually need to have stuff done to it. Cudgel, you're damaged, but you're still you're still working. When it is damaged, though, it's not going to be as effective, so we probably want to try and cut up another one before too long. So we'll keep that in mind. But now we can smash these doors and windows to our heart's content. So we're actually just going to smash this one. Breaking and entering, I know. And let's make sure that we just slow to a walk. We'll wait a while. If there's anything here, it probably would have come for us. Lawnmower, we could get a lawnmower blade from that, make a glaive, that would be fun. We'll think about that. A charcoal smoker, good for preparing or rather preserving food over time if we need to. Probably not going to need to with Odell. We've got a fair amount of protein rations, so I'm not that concerned. Obviously we've got lots of pumps and oh no. What is that? Oh, we're hallucinating. Ah, okay. Oh, wow, our perception has just dropped right down to one. Okay, Odell, let's, um, let's have some of those antipsychotics, huh? We feel a bit wobbly, but we're okay. Let's head over towards these, see if there's anything in them. There is. We've got a smart lamp. Okay, it can be activated remotely. Huh, we might actually be able to turn that on and off with our bionics. That's, uh, that's funny. Another charcoal smoker, eh? Okay. Um, there's nothing really in those. We've got a fire extinguisher behind there. A, a plunger behind locked doors. Um, I mean, that is, that is much more useful, but, um, we can live without it. Yes, we can. We've got another lighter. We've got a few of those now. And, um, a magnifying glass. Sure, just in the rare chance we get separated from all of our fire starting things and we need a magnifying glass. I think the best thing that we can probably do right now is just um, bash those crates outside. We will use our cudgel to do it, uh, and the cudgel's probably going to get damaged in the process, but that's okay. We are going to be making a new one, so we're just going to kind of go through. Let's see, was there anything in that? I mean, there were some planks. We could use the planks to do it, but honestly, I'm fine with us just smashing this to pieces and we'll see what's left. Okay, we got through all of those. What did we get out of that? We got some pipes and we got some planks. Well, okay, I guess <laughs> I guess that's that. Uh, we'll catch our breath. Um, I think we're probably just going to drop the cudgel off for now. Get rid of that one there. I'm just going to pick up one of these planks. Go ahead and wield that. Just want to make sure that it is a plank that we need. Yep. A plank in five minutes to turn it into a cudgel. Well, we're going to do that back in our vehicle because it's warmer there. And uh, this is the end of the line here. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. Water. Okay. We actually do have a house down there as well. So we could get a little bit closer to try and see if we can get some goods. So we're just going to jump in the back here real quick. And we are going to make ourselves a cudgel. We will use the plank on our person, and just like that, wham bam, we got ourselves another cudgel man. Okay, excellent. So, with that, I think we are going to drive down towards this house, so let's get going. So I've just been cruising with the lights off. Okay, we've discovered another vehicle. I'm just going to stop the car here, turn off that light, let's get out this door. Okay, check it out. It's got gas, it's a full-sized van. I don't think there's anything in here. Guess we could have a quick little peek. No. All right, we can see a zombie down to the south. So let's just try to avoid it if we can. Make our way around towards this house. Use the forest for a little bit of cover. All right. Okay, so ideally we'd do this quietly if we can. Let's see if we can find a back door or something like that. A little bit of a patio there. Ah, an open window. Hmm, we do have some zombies around here though. They might be a little bit of a problem. You know what, I think we're just gonna... We're just gonna run for it. Shut the curtain, shut the window. Okay, 
Um, we're going to go to a walk. I think it's going to come through here any moment now. Close that curtain as well. Yep, here we go. Right, so we're going to have to fight this sucker. We're going to fight him in the window if we can. It's going to be a lot slower. We're being grabbed. We could try and pull out now. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we're going to we're gonna run backwards if we can. Break the grab. Or not. I guess we're just going to stay here and fight. Yep. Fight the kid here as well. Okay. Not what I wanted to do. But uh, those grabs sometimes seem to be quite difficult to get out of. Right, we're bleeding. That's not good. We're just going to use an adhesive bandage rather than kind of mess around with our hands. There we go. We managed to stop the bleeding and we have a bandage on the wound now. Um, let's not turn on the light just yet. No need to do that. Uh, what have we got? A leather belt. We'll take that for now. Ski mask. It's a poor fit. We'll take it just in case we don't find anything else. The knit hat is better than the one that we have at the moment. Yeah, this, I mean, this does cover our mouth. You know what, I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it if we don't find anything else. We're going to drop off our cotton hat and we are going to wear, ooh, there's a quilt. Uh, we're going to wear the knit hat that we got. We can also wear that belt too. Okay, ooh, this is looking much better. We've got some cargo pants, some leg warmers, good stuff some more socks we can kind of double up on the socks which which we very well might want to do that long underwear top we aren't wearing anything underneath at the moment so that's probably something that we'd want a bronze medal so um looks like they were a swimmer of some kind maybe who knows who knows some more work gloves a thermal shirt we're not going to worry about that so yeah let's just take that from there for now do i want to swap out to cargo pants i think we probably do no, we don't. We're wearing the touring suit, so yeah, we're not going to worry about that, but we are going to put that underwear top on, and we need to make sure that we are actually wearing that underneath. Yes, yes we are. Okay. The sheath we should definitely take as well as the leg warmers and the socks. We can put those leg warmers on. I'm going to put the extra socks on now as well as the sheath, and we're just going to see how we're looking. So obviously the socks are kind of doubled up at the moment. It will encumber our feet slightly but it's only a very very slight encumbrance more than worth the actual warmth that we're getting from it so i'm going to grab that uh, ski mask now just because we haven't found anything else yet but who's to say that we won't yes onwards we go for now we could grab another set of gloves as well but we really should avoid doubling up that much Ooh, okay Nothing there, and well, nothing really there. The leather ones are a little bit better in terms of the warmth, but poor fitting really isn't going to help us all that much. Web design basics, yeah, same deal there. Ain't going to help us. Just double checking, nothing else. Okay, so we carry on into the home. We've got a basement here. We're going to have the light on. Okay, we're just going to peek downstairs. Alright, I'm not seeing any dead immediately, and there are some arm guards here. Oh no, neoprene sleeves, I see. We've got a flashlight. We could probably unload that one, steal the battery, and just see if there is anything else here. It looks like it's just a D&D &D basement. We've got some character sheets, some dice. Let's see. DM's guide. Yeah, nope. Nothing that we really want. We've already got a handheld gaming system, so I'm not so concerned about that. Um, it looks like this house is kind of split into two different uh, halves, maybe. All right, well, let's get a little loud. See if we can break this down. We didn't damage the cudgel, so that's a good start for us. All right, probably no other bedrooms in here, but there could be some things in the washing. Nope. Okay. All right, so we want to get out of here now. We don't really have any interest in sticking around. But we'll just check this out real quick. Nope, not for me, not for me. We're going to start to run. Okay. And uh, it's time to go. Away from the kid, ideally. Mm, you're going to be a problem, aren't you? Yep. Now, we're going to stop running. Just going to see if we can take the kid out like that. Turn off our lights. Start to move away. Right leg again, eh? Bloody frustrating. Drop the cudgel for a moment. There we go. Pick it back up. Let's get back towards our vehicle. 
So while it may be a poor fit, it's still decent for us. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to pop into the back here for a second. We are going to uh, drop off our dust mask and we probably don't need to be wearing the knit hat as well. We're going to wear that ski mask, poor fitting as it is. 50 warmth should be enough. And there we go. It is. It most certainly is. Um, I'm happy with that. The only thing that's cold now are hands, unfortunately. They're not that cold. And we can probably we can probably live with it. We're chilly for sure, and driving it is going to be cold. That's just the way it is. So West Man Land. <laughs> okay, West Man Land. We're going to turn on this light. And uh, we're actually a bit slower with our hands. You see, it did actually take us a little while to just turn on the flashlight there. It looks like this is kind of the end of the line here. Um, I'm really hoping that there is some kind of aquatic vehicle. Doesn't look like that's the case, though. We just got two parks. So um, we're going to go ahead and reverse this thing back on up maybe into that zombie that we saw yep sounds like that's the case dead as it is okay driving out of town we dodge that one and let's go odell to the south we travel so this road is taking us a fair ways south down along the side of this river might be something here but uh it'd be a risk to try and swim it at night Ooh, well hello Okay, so we've got a cargo truck of some kind there. I'm tempted to just check it out real quick like. Yeah, let's stop driving. Just because our vehicle has taken a little bit of a beating. Okay, let's have a look at you. Diesel, battery, seemingly working. Wheels, enough. Okay. Heavy duty frame. It doesn't have all the amenities that ours does, but um, the heavy duty frame means that it can take a bit of a beating and it does have a windshield and it's bloody working so you know what it might seem like a bad idea because of the amenities that we have in ours but um this thing can potentially take us further so i'm going to do some quick swapping okay really didn't take all that long but we got there so we don't have a bed in this one but right now it is an enclosed um vehicle and you know what it might even have headlights it does would you look at that wow luxury huh so let's do our best not to wreck this thing now that we've just got it but we're gonna power it on with the three percent diesel it should be lasting an okay amount of time it says five days until empty so that'd be nice and oh solar vehicle i mean it could be working but uh, honestly, I think we're going to stick to the diesel. Thankfully, the road does seem to be sticking kind of close to the coast. Um, so while we are still kind of traveling, you know, definitely to the south, eventually we are going to be able to cut west. And, you know, we haven't gone too far south yet. So we keep on driving, Hodel. Okay, we've approached a town here, it looks like. Right, so how are we going to get around this one? Ideally, I think we go around to the south, where we can. Trying not to get any um, stowaways. There we go. That works for me. Yeah. And you know what? I think we might actually just take this thing off-road for a little bit. Oh, that's maybe too far off-road. Look at that, Odell. This is shipwreck. Well, that's a vessel. But it's a shipwreck that's not. <laughs> we cannot get that working. And, uh, yep, razor claws. Man sized crustaceans clad in an iron like chitin, capable of emitting the most horrid of shrieks, often spotted near shipwrecks and other dark, damp places, which it uses as a nesting ground. Well, there we go. That's your Pokedex for the day. Um, we're gonna drive away from those, Odell. Yep. We are hearing just these screams, these anguished screams, not unlike what we've heard from the Migos before, I think. Lots of bodies here. Okay. Ah, there's a crick. Well, that'll explain that, I suppose. An otherworldly hound. Yep, just a hallucination, I'm sure. Let's keep on driving, following the road here. Um, oh boy, that's a lot of Migos. That's a lot of Migos. Just just more hallucinations, I'm sure. Keep on driving, Odell. And okay, we're turning to the left. <sighs> that's a bridge. 
Okay, uh, <laughs> it's a bridge, but we have some signs. Danger, minefield. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh, and we've got some tents as well. So, here's what I'm thinking. We do this on foot. That's definitely the safest way to do it. Um, because we need to try and spot mines and uh, we're going to do so with our flashlight turned on. Okay, yep, so we've already spotted some. We don't have um, skill with explosives, so the idea of us, you know, disarming them, not great, not great. As we know, all it takes is one of those mines to end our life. Uh, what are these magazines looking like? Com completely empty. That's, that's, that's fair. Um, I would love to get to these bodies, mate. Are they soldiers? No. Just regular humans. Regular humans and flip-flops who tried to cross, well, this, which is a blockade of some kind. Um, we might actually be able to come around to the north. Hmm, that's an idea. Okay, we've got a decently large tent here, but, uh, okay, I've got a little bit of a plan here. I just want to go up onto the bridge so I can see what we're looking at. I'm kind of going to try and peek. Okay, we can't peek, but luckily there were no turrets of death and destruction up there. So, I think what we need to try and do here is drive our truck around the north side, because it looks like those mines are only on the road. Okay, I'm just waiting a few turns in each spot. Uh, right. So, with that being the case, if that is the case, we need to try and take down this tent, if possible. Um, it might be too big for us to take down, actually, now that I think about it. Um, doesn't mean that we can't smash through it with a truck, though. If we come at it from the right angle. Um, let's just see what it would take. Oh, it's, it's super easy. Barely an inconvenience to destroy this thing. Okay, well... Yeah, it's literally just a little bit of smashing, and we just rip the tent to pieces. Then we're going to grab these beds, and okay, yeah, we strain ourselves. This one, if I can just move this one. Yep, no, we're just going to keep on straining ourselves. We might be able to make it through that gap. At the very least, I think the um, truck could destroy that. So, turn off our light, back to the truck we go, close that door, and now we, we just pray that I haven't missed any mines. Because... Yep, that'd be bad. <laughs> that'd be very bad. One way to take care of mines is just to bait a whole heap of zombies into an area, and that can work. Oh, I mean, Amigo works as well, which unfortunately we are being followed by now. God damn it. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to hit the spit. Not a problem. Okay. Now we need to straighten up before we go over. Here we go, here we go. Oh boy. Now, we could be dealing with the same thing on the other side. It's entirely possible. Don't know if the Migo is still following us. Um, we're gonna do this little section here. We can kind of see over the edge. We can see that there are some vehicles there. Let's just peek over with our vehicle. Okay, all is well. Yeah, we got some wrecks down here. So, what I'll be looking at. Northampton. Okay, so, uh, I think we we kind of go to the southwest. We do what we do, Odell. We do what we do. And uh, another town. Another grouping of dead. But now, we can kind of take things a little bit more direct. I would, I would hope. I'm certainly going to try. And there we go, another road. Oh boy, that's not good. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, so, what we were looking at there, that's a military helipad. Oh man. <laughs> if we had someone that could fly helicopters, there might actually be one there. Um, okay, yeah. Those are autonomous turrets that can kill us from quite the distance. So let's let's not do that. Let's not. Um, we are just going to keep on trying to make our way to the southwest as best as we can. If we run into interesting scenarios like that, I'm going to be popping back. But for the most part, because, um, well, it's going to be the same old, same old. I'm just going to keep this vehicle rolling as far as we can. So, 
I'll see you when something uh, wild happens or until we hit a roadblock. Oh boy. Okay, so this is a little bit more of a roadblockage here. We've got quite a few wrecks. We're going to have to kind of thread the needle here. So we've made it a ways from where the, uh, the helipad was, making our way further along to the west. Um, yeah, we're going to have a bit of a time here, unfortunately. But I think we can just make it through here. Whoa! Okay. So far, so good. We are going to have to go maybe through a little bit of a street light here. Oh no, we can avoid it. There we go. Just around the edge. That's how we do it. And if I get the opportunity to, I will be, you know, trying to avoid towns where possible. But uh, in this instance, it's not possible. Oh boy, look at that Odell, look at that. Welcome to Rocky Hill. More dead for us to plow through. Oh joy. And I'm not feeling good about the west side of this town because we've seen one um, cul-de-sac already. I imagine we probably have another one just beneath the town's name here, so I'm gonna try to avoid that. A little bit of a turn here. Okay. No one's made their way into the vehicle yet, which is great. Very, very good sign for us. We've got a gas station down here, but we ain't got no time to stop. So the vehicle keeps on rolling. Odell with it, and wouldn't you know it, another DNA. But this one we can kind of fly through. Um, unfortunately, though, we are going to hit something here. Okay. Hitting the street lamp is the lesser of the evils that we could have struck there. It does kind of continue on towards the west a little bit more, but now we are outside the town, so we can roam free once again. So, <laughs> thought I'd just check back in with you. There are some wild things happening in the town that we are in at the moment. The town of Stark, uh, and just to kind of show you where we've come from, uh, this was the town of Rocky Hill that we uh, blasted our way through. So we're now over here in Stark, and we are making our way through. You can see I came quite far to the south here. Um, and just in general, as to how far we've made it, uh, it is more just like directly to the west now, but it's still a ways. Certainly possible though, because if we have a look at the kind of journey that we've made so far, you know, we've, uh, we've made some distance, some of that distance, but this town is inhabited by Triffids and vine beasts, plant-like creatures, not fungal, but something else entirely different. And they seem to be fighting the dead here. So, there is a competition for the end of the world, Odell. We don't know who's gonna win, but we are going to very happily plow our vehicle through the dead here. And I wonder, is that, oh yeah, it is making us happy. What a good day, my friend. What a good day. And somehow we have managed to successfully navigate our way through the town, past all these Triffids, and now we are home free once again to continue on our journey ever west as we travel, my friend. Let's keep this vehicle rolling. Oh, well, that, we, we didn't go that far at all. We, we've, reached, we've reached a dead end. And you know what? I think this is the kind of dead end that we were expecting to hit at some point. From this point on, you know, I'm thinking we aren't going to be taking the vehicle. As much as uh, I'd like to keep on taking it, I think this is when we start traveling on foot. Cars can get you a decent distance, but on foot you can travel, you know, as the crow flies, so to speak. Rivers do make things a little bit more difficult, but we are going to be able to continue on foot and we're going to start that off tonight. It's 10, so it's maybe a little late to be doing that, but, uh, Odell, let's prepare. Okay, I think we're good to go. Our bag has been packed with a whole load of things. I think we're as ready as we're going to be. Um, our head is still a little cold, and our hands? Hmm, I don't like that. We'll put the knit hat on, which should make us fine there. It's just our hands that are going to be that much colder. I think we do have some other gloves we could wear as well. Like gloves doubling up, not a good idea. It's going to make our hands very encumbered, but at least for now they're not cold. Let's try not get in a fight if we can avoid it. Although, we are ready to go, and I, and I think just before we go, 
I think we're going to have a look at activating something, using something. And that something is our magic eight ball. Okay, let's ask it. Is traveling on foot a good idea? Yes, definitely. Okay, well, we, we know what to do then, Odell. Into the woods we go. Oh, where it's going to lead us? Oh, we do not know. Well, we made it out the other side of that at the very least. And yes, we did leave the food person mask behind because uh, it's very large. So <laughs> we're just going to continue walking throughout the night, going as straight as we possibly can through these woods, hoping that we're not going to encounter anything horrible on our journey. So much so that I think it's maybe worth us putting the cudgel um, oh, onto our leather belt and then uh, wielding our AR just so that we're really ready to go. Okay, we spotted a Dermatic. It hasn't spotted us. We're just going to give it some space and go right away from that for now. Oh boy. In the night, it sees us. Amigo. At the edge of the woods, it catches us. We're going to start to run, but Migos, Migos are fast. Let's see. It is slower than us at the moment. Can we break line of sight? No, no, we can't, and it is catching us. Okay, so we spin around. We get ready. Semi-automatic, I think, is what we want to try and do here, because if we can injure this creature, it will run away. Now, Odell doesn't know that. Maybe he does. Maybe there's some kind of intrinsic knowledge he has for reasons yet unknown. Let's take a shot. Okay, a good hit. It is still coming for us, though. We've got nine bullets left. We steady up yet again. We're going to let it get one square closer. There we go. It turns. It's running. It's bleeding heavily. Now, we've shot twice, so we're going to try and get some distance. We want to leave that thing behind. All oh, that Dermatic. All oh, that Dermatic. It came for us for a second, but then it swooped off towards the Mego. Okay. And just like that, we found yet another road and yet another Dermatic. So let's... <laughs> let's uh, just go a little bit further away from there. There must be a hive around here somewhere. We're just going to make sure that we keep safe mode on so I don't accidentally walk into anything. And we're going to keep on walking, Odell discovered yet another road but um i don't know how i feel about actually walking along roads now we don't have to so we'll avoid them if we can unless of course we find water that we need to cross or alternatively it's just a faster way to move through the forest so if it's going straight through we'll make use of it zap a zombie to the south huh yet again you can see how far we've made it and we are making really good progress on foot, at least like more directed progress. So we're going to keep that up, my friend. Look at that. It's actually within sight on the map now. We might be able to make it. Well, well, this is what I was afraid of. It looks like we've hit yet another river, seemingly with no way to cross it just yet. I'm going to get to the end of this trail in the hopes that there is going to be... I don't know, a kayak, anything. It is the end of a trail. No, unfortunately not. And that is uh, a little bit too much of a distance for us to swim with the equipment that we have on at the moment. If we had a flotation vest, we would be a-okay. But in this instance, unfortunately, we're not quite there. Not yet, but my gosh, it's tantalizingly close. We can make it, and I think we will. But that... Legionnaires shall be in the next. Odell has managed to dodge and weave his way through the night. And I don't think he's going to be sleeping tonight. Caffeine pills and um, antipsychotics will power him through until he reaches his destination. So, please join me. The day after tomorrow, when Odell's journey continues. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned. And finally today, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to the Legion on Patreon, who continue to make this content possible.